In this video, you will learn that how to make smart hybrid energy management system using Arduino. So here you can see this is the flowchart and working principle of this project. So let me explain it. So here you can see uh, we have three power sources. One is solar, the second one is grid, and the third one is battery. So our first priority will be the solar, and uh, if solar is not available, then second priority will be the grid. And if grid is also not available, so the third priority will be the battery. So this means that when solar and grid is not available, then the load will be transferred to the battery. And if uh, solar and grid is available, then our first priority will be the solar, that all the load will be connected to the solar. And if solar is not available, then uh, load will be transferred to the grid and then to the battery respectively. So we have three kind of loads. One is high priority, second one is normal priority and third one is the low priority load. So if solar is available, then high priority, normal priority and low priority load will be connected with the solar power. And if there is no solar power, then the power will be transferred to the grid. Now in grid there are two conditions. One is that whether there are peak hours or not. So if there are peak hours, then only the high priority and normal priority load will be connected with it. The low priority load will not be connected with the grid. So if there are no peak hour, then the high priority, normal priority and low priority load will be connected with the grid. Now the third option is the battery. If both of these powers are not available, then load will be transferred to the battery. So there are also two conditions in battery, whether the battery is uh, less than 40% or not. So if battery is less than 40%, then only high priority and normal priority load will be connected with it. And if uh, battery is greater than 40%, so high priority, normal priority and low priority load will be connected with it. So let me show a demo to you. So here you can see this is the Arduino Mega. This is the Bluetooth module. This is the reset button for resetting the system. This is the LCD module. You can see the details on it. Here you can see the 8 channel relay modules. The first relay is for the solar. The second one is for the grid and the third one is for the neutral wire. This is for the battery, phase wire and neutral wire. And the last three relays for the controlling of the load. Control the high priority, normal priority and low priority. And this button is for the solar, grid and battery. This is the main supply wire. This is the step down transformer. This is also the step down transformer. This is the bridge, capacitor and then resistors. Same here, bridge, capacitor, resistors. This is for sensing the voltage. This is also for sensing voltage. This is for sensing solar voltage, grid voltage. This is for sensing battery voltage. This is high priority load. This is normal priority load. And this is low priority load. This is the 12 volt battery and this is the inverter connected with it. These buttons are for controlling the load. This is for high priority, normal priority and low priority load. This means that we can manually control the load with these buttons. This button is for manually creating the peak hours and this button for manually creating battery less than 40%. This is just for the demo purpose because we can't wait for the peak hours and the battery to be less than the 40%. So now let me press the reset button and check how it works. So here you can see the project name Smart Hybrid Energy Management System using Arduino. So here you can see the power is now connected with the solar. Here you can see the solar power is also on, grid is also on, battery is also on. But our first priority is the solar, that's why it's connected with the solar. Now let me show you that how you will connect the mobile phone with the Bluetooth module. Now this is the mobile app, first of all press here. Now connect the Bluetooth name. Now press the connect button. Now wait for a second. So here you can see the Bluetooth is now connected here. If it show error then it means that not connected with the Bluetooth. The buttons are for controlling the load, high priority load, normal priority, low priority load. All on with this and all off with this. Now here you can see load is on solar. And here you can see the battery power, grid power and solar, all of these are on. But our first priority is the solar power. Now let me show you manually how to control the load with the buttons. Now let me show you how to control the load with the mobile phone. 
प्रेस दी हाई प्रायोरिटी टर्न ऑफ नॉन प्रायोरिटी टर्न ऑफ लो प्रायोरिटी टर्न ऑफ टर्न ऑन ऑल टर्न ऑफ ऑल सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कंट्रोल इट विद द मोबाइल फोन नाउ लेट मी टर्न ऑफ द सोलर पावर एंड चेक हाउ इट वर्क्स Now here you can see the load is transferred to the grid. Now solar is off, grid is on, and battery is on. Also there are no peak hours. If there are no peak hours, so all load will be connected with the grid. Let me show you manually how it works. High priority, non-low priority, low priority. Here you can see there are no peak hours, so all loads are connected with the grid. Now let me create manually the peak hours with the help of this button. Now let me press this button. So here you can see now peak hour are yes. So this means that high priority and non-low priority will work, while low priority load will not be connected with the grid. Here you can see high priority, non-low priority, low priority is not working here. Let me turn off the peak hour now. Now our next case will be that transfer the load to the battery. So this means that we will turn off the grid now. Now let me turn off the grid. So here you can see now load is transferred to the battery. Here you can see solar is off, grid is off, and battery is on. Battery is also greater than forty percent. Now here you can see high priority, normal priority, while low priority will not work on the battery. You can see here battery is greater than forty percent. Now let me manually. Make the battery less than forty percent with the help of this button. Let me press it and let's see. After pressing the button, you can see our battery is less than forty percent now. Now only high priority will work. Normal priority is not working. Low priority load is also not working. Now let's so battery is now on and grid is off. Solar is also off. Let me on the solar. So this means that batteries and solar will be. Turn on at the same time. Then how it works? Now the load is transferred to the solar because our first priority is the solar. And now let's check how it works. High priority, non-low priority, low priority. Now let me control it with the mobile phone as well. Here you can see peak hours are no. Now let me create peak hours manually. Here you can see. After pressing the button, peak hour are yes. Now let me control it with the mobile phone. High priority, normal priority, low priority is not working here because there are peak hours. Now let me turn off the peak hours. Let me press the button. Now let me check the low priority. Here you can see it working now. Let me show all to you. High priority, normal priority, and low priority. So this was the method of how to make smart hybrid energy management system using Arduino. The circuit diagram and code link is available in the description. You can download from there. If you like the project, please subscribe my channel, like and share the video. Visit my channel for more videos related to Arduino. Thanks for watching.